Yeah, yeah. What it do, what it do, man. Box your ears if you messed with his forge. Young Jay and this motherfucker. Playing this clean ass. Horizon. For being the West 45, we did. Just chilling and shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I thought we I'd start at this shit, man. So let's Are get sure we shouldn't be back up to it. All right, go Whatever on. went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Damn, I just talked to him about all this shit. After we get Hephaestus, <clears throat> we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Yeah, I wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Oh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it though. Crazy how this shit looked, man. I'm still uh, doing the tripping off this shit. Future. You can see by his ears, like as long as I can do that, his cyburn ends and consider myself a success. Like in between the cyburn and his ear, that shit looks hella real. Dude. Crazy. Not get enough. I'm gonna get emotional. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat. See, that shit, that shit is crazy. Alright, fuck with strike. That same here. I mean, it's cool. I think shit. with a cauldron to prepare for. But there's so much other shit to do, you know what I mean? Thought you'd be back. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they are needed. Like I said, just in case. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora, spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. <laughs> this is it, Varl. To think, it was just the two of us when we first stepped out west. And now we have a team. A good one. This is all because of you, Varl. Yeah. You're right. Smart ass. What will you and Zoe do if you go back to the Embrace? I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. I should get going. Right. I have to check my gears ready myself. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a <coughs> talk. News travels fast. It wasn't exactly a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. 
And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from her ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue <coughs> with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. Any more data catch your eye? All of it. I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled <laughs> on it. But Sirius is way yeah. farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. <laughs> Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. And she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask so to teach you sometime about Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything, before heading out to the cauldrons. You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail, as expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. 
but one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, <clears throat> you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. <laughs> Why did this shit? I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. the right strategy forget it the man is unbeatable at machine strike ah uh, fuck out of here Welcome back. hello Aloy Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. <laughs> Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it <laughs> conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also mm -hmm. suggests we host a party for you, as a surprise. Cake and uh, beer, right? Yeah, <laughs> Or you can put the beer inside the cake. Of course you can. Is Catalo getting along? Use the beer as the liquid, yes, bro. Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague to aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us, until now. She's been through so much, completely alone. You have both endured many hardships, different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. 
three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants, once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Ah, uh, Varl has said the shit. biosphere has been stable. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. I'll be off. Farewell, for now. Why does it say that shit, dude? What the fuck? I just did. Mm. I'll do that shit later, man. Young Janus, bitch. Sign it off. Come on.